previously on The Amazing Race Canada. On the way to Calgary, Kristen and Darren gave their second express pass to sisters Vanessa and Selena. They just gave us in. <laughs> Polly and Brett tried to steer the herd by hiding all the maps. I know the game we're playing now. But the playing field was leveled when the racers got corralled at the roadblock. We'd be here two days at this race. I know. Separating the Tims from the rest of the pack. All right, you're freaking out. Al and Joanne left the other teams in the dust, winning the third leg. <laughs> while Tim and Tim finished last. But fortunately for them, this is a non-elimination round. No. So you guys can expect to have to complete a speed bump at some point in the next leg. Let's well, take it on. Wow. Now, seven teams remain as they race across the country to win a year of worldwide travel for two in executive first from Air Canada. A pair of all new 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Stingrays, a quarter of a million dollars in cash, and the amazing Race Canada. Calgary, Alberta, a modern city rising up from the prairies at the base of the Rocky Mountains. With its origins in the wild west of Canada, Alberta is the only place in North America where prairie, northern forest, and mountain ranges meet. On the outskirts of the city, in the small town of Drumheller, is Horse Thief Canyon. Once used as a hideout by horse thieves and smugglers, is today the starting point of the fourth leg in a race across Canada. Hal and Joanne won the last leg of the race and will depart first at 2.10 a.m. Great oh. info. Fly to Yellowknife, Northwest Territories. Once you're in Yellowknife, drive yourself to Bush Pilot Monument and search for your next clue. Okay, let's go let's to Yellowknife. Go. Teams must now find their way to the Calgary International Airport and fly to Yellowknife, Northwest Territories. This stunning northern gem, located on the shores of Great Slave Lake, is one of the world's largest producers of diamonds. It's also known as the best place in the world to see the Northern Lights. On the last leg, we ended up coming in first. Being team number one may put a little bit more of a target on our back. They may think that we might be a little tougher competition than they earlier thought. What a yellow night. Northwest Territories. We are a very competitive team. This race is going to reveal the reality of a relationship. There's six years between the two of us. It gives us a great opportunity to really see how capable we are of working through tough situations. All right. How are you? Which airlines? Air Canada. Air Canada. We're flying to Northwest Territories. Do you know? Thank Thanks. you. So we'll just hang out here. Oh. Fly to Yellowknife. You have one dollar on your Interact debit card for this leg of the race. I've already spent it. Wow. This is my warmest outfit. <laughs> We are so overdue for a win. Yes, look out. I think we're probably a lot smarter than people would initially suspect because we're athletic looking guys, but if they actually realize, you know, just how intelligent we are and how competitive we are, especially, sure. I think that'll put a huge target on our backs. Cut the pickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> Fly to Yellowknife, Northwest Territories. Can you take us to the airport? I think the other teams perceive us as a non-threat because we are the girly girls, but we're here to win the race. Go time, show time. What time is our flight? Six o'clock flight. flight, yes. We're um, trying to get on the earliest flight. First one is six o'clock. <clears throat> we get to the airport and Hal and Joe are already there. Hippies are already there. Yeah. And we are behind a long lineup. <laughs> ask it, the guys in the front if we can bud. Go ask them. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Would any of you mind if uh, me and my sister went in front of you? Can go ahead. Oh, okay. really? Thank you so much. <laughs> so that's how you get on <laughs> you earlier point. Thank you. They're just cut in front of everybody. Very serious. Yeah. That's it's not right, no. They just they went like, uh, flashed their, their eyelashes a little bit. <laughs> now I feel stupid for giving them the pass. 
Thanks. Uh, thank you. Fly to yellow knife. We fell pretty hard yesterday from first to sixth. But it's a new lake. Restart. Run like you're in last all the time. Yeah. I'm ready when you are. I'm ready. Uh, you're on the first flight. Following flight. First, first one. To yellow knife. Yeah. We're headed to yellow knife. Both on the Okay, that's, that's wonderful. We'll take it. All the teams will be leaving on the same flight this morning, and uh, I guess this means that everybody's gonna be getting into yellow knife at the same time. Equalizes everything. We're still in it. <laughs> all right. Let's see where we're going. Yellow knife. Here we come. Oh, the last leg, we came in last place. I mean, we've still got a spot to contend with at some point throughout the day, but uh, I think we're looking good. I'm so pumped to see their faces. None of the other teams know that it was a non-elimination round, so we're hoping to, to catch some teams by surprise this morning. Look at that. Morning, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, hey morning. there. You didn't think you'd lost the Tims, did you? Yes. No way. <laughs> no, I am not excited to we're see not. Tim and Tim. We're staying, yes. They're heavy competition. Uh, they're heavy competition. All teams are now flying on the same flight from Calgary via Edmonton to Yellowknife Northwest Territories. Once they land, teams will load into a Chevrolet Traverse and search for the Bush Pilots Monument, a tribute to fallen pilots whose lives were lost in the northern skies during the 1920s and 30s as they helped settle the territories. Right here, right here. Up in. Everyone's following us. Follow this up and then stay to the right. So you're gonna turn? Yeah, it's that. It's 100% right there. Here's the flags. Get ready, Joe. Jump okay, up. Okay, let's go. Ready to do some stairs? Yeah. I see the others. Okay, see the stairs? Let's go. Here we go, Dad. Make your way to a bed and breakfast. On Great Save Lake. Search, Search for your next, next clue. Okay. okay. Search for your next clue. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Teams must now drive to the government dock, which is located just below Bush Pilots Monument. Once they arrive, they'll have to run half a kilometer across the frozen lake to find their next clue. It says make your way to government dock. So I would actually turn around. If you can, follow other people. Follow, follow them? We'll run you down, boys. What are we looking for? Government dock. How and Joe. He looked as lost as we did. Love it. Great save lake. Look, look. Based on our map, I could see that the lake was just across the street. Probably like this right here. Yeah, look, it's definitely this. That's it. I'm parking right here. No other team is anywhere to be seen. OK, let's go. Vanessa, what do I do, please? I don't know. There's like no way we're going north. There's no way we're going the right way. It looks like we're here first. Follow the path to the bed and breakfast, it says. OK, go. Start going. Go. Go, go, go. Come on, Hall. You're doing great. So this is not a lead. Government dog, or great slave, is on the south side. You may have missed it. Oh, man, this sucks. We're lost. <sighs> where are we? Just check where you're at. Are we actually going to a dock, or are we going Make to Make your way to government dock. You know as much as I know. This doesn't seem right at all. Come on, Hall. Come on. Roadblock. Who wants to do a whole lot of shaking? A roadblock is a task that only one person can perform. In this roadblock, one team member will suit up and take part in a classic Canadian tradition, the polar bear dip. Launching themselves into an icy hole carved out of Great Slave Lake, where they'll retrieve their next clue. Uh, I'll do it. No. You're okay, going to do it. Do You're doing it. OK, I'll do it. OK, change into a swimsuit in the changing tent. Here, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Hall. You knew this was coming, Hall. You knew this was coming. Government. Look at Right in here. <laughs> it's perfect. Let's go. we got to make a few minutes here. It is freezing. I get into a bathing suit and socks. Hot, super hot. <laughs> oh, you got this! My legs were trembling. The crowd is cheering. At the same time, I'm about to jump into freezing cold water.
Get your clue off. You just feel this kind of like hot, burny feeling on your body. Here, here, here. I felt kind of numb, cold at that point. Okay. Find the Duchess in car cross. Uh, Yukon for your Yukon. next clue. Let's go to Yukon. Teams must now drive themselves to the Yellowknife Airport and sign up for one of three flights, all leaving 20 minutes apart. Once aboard these classic Canadian bush planes, teams will fly to the tiny town of Carcross in the Yukon, where during the Klondike Gold Rush of 1896, this area was teeming with gold prospectors and pioneers, all hunting for precious Yukon gold. Let's go, let's just go. Let's go. Yeah, there it is, right there, there's the sign. Take the key and log it. Government dock, here we go, right here. Let's catch some people, shall we? Over here, Joe. Is there anyone behind us? Here, run under here. Get yourself in order. Let's follow him. Okay. <laughs> Who wants to do a whole lot of shaking? A lot of shaking. I'll do it. Go for it. Who wants to do a whole lot of shaking? That's me. Okay, here we go, here we go. We got all these fine people here to see you jump in. Thanks for coming, folks. Do it, do it. Body's tell me to get the hell out of there as fast as you can. And he did. And that's what I did. Too fast. Uh, I didn't grab the clue. Hurry, jump again, jump again, jump again! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Yeah. All right! <laughs> okay, we're out here. Is this the government parking lot? Yeah. Awesome. There's a flag. Oh, let's go. Roadblock. Who wants to do a whole lot of shaking? I'll do it. Okay. You want me to do it or you want to do it? Doesn't matter. I can do it. Yeah? Sure. I have no idea what the temperature of the water is. I mean, it was a hole around ice. So, I mean, it, it, had, it had to be cold. <laughs> Fight, yeah, fight yeah, for yeah. position. Fight for position. Go, bud. Go, 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 bud. Go. Go, you're next. Here, here, here. Grab this. Hang on. Gotta get the safety line on. Yeah, yeah. You're clearly in line. Yeah. I'm it's... next. Let's go, people! Whoa, whoa, I'm first. Suddenly, Tim has a rope on him, and he's getting his spot. And the crowd just starts booing. No. Cheater, they all yell. He just dropped me on. First card. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go, people! Whoa, whoa, I'm first. He just dropped me on. No. I, <laughs> I cut in front of Dave. We immediately hear it from the entire audience. Who's first? Whatever, man. Don't call me a cheater. <laughs> we find the Duchess and car across Yukon. Talk to me. Do you see old airport road? Yes. We need to drive back to the airport and sign up on a sign-up sheet for one of three the bush, bush flights. Okay, I found it on the map. We're from Winnipeg, so we love the cold. I'm not we sure we cold. love the cold, but we're adapted <laughs> to the cold. Yeah, we we're can used survive. To it. We're used cold. to it. There we go. <laughs> Find the Duchess in Carcost, Yukon for your next clue. So we're going to the Yukon. We're going to the Yukon. Let's do it, Dad. That's a true Manitoban task right there, baby. That's a flag for us. So look for the customer parking. Arctic Sunwest yeah, Charters. Leaving the roadblock in first place was important for us. It sort of put us back in this race. Uh, let's roll. Here, Brett, here. Flight number one. Nice. Flight number one. See the car up there? See it, see him, Jay? Joe on your right? Yeah. OK, just follow them. Are you sure? No, I'm not. Just hang on. Oh. Well, Joe, just you're, You've you're, got it, be. OK, you can't. OK, turn around. Here's someone turning around right here. Yeah. They're looking for it. Let's keep going. <laughs> They're going to follow us. Oh, here we go. OK. Sign up. There, flight one. Jet and Dave. Right? Good job, us. 
We sign up, and we're on flight one. Only two spots. Today is our day. Are we going to work with Brett and Holly now? It's not on Old Airport Road. It is. Right? So it's got to be on a side street. Joe, look at that. Look, make a left right here. Sign up seat right there, right there, right there. Sweet. Yes. Sign up sheet. OK, go sign up, Cor. We're good? Let's go, buddy. Keys. Do you have the keys? You have them. Huh? You have them. Please tell me. I know. Please, sleep. It says off Old Airport Road. Oh. There you go. Found them. Found them. You found them. No found way. Them. Good job, Selena. I can't see over the steering wheel. Where do you sign up, guys? Outside, there's a sign up thing there. We, we already had our spot on the flight, so I point them to the sign up board. Flight three. Oh, flight two. No, 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 no. Flight, flight two, right there. We're, we're flight two. We're flight two. two. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We were here before them. Oh, Yo, you didn't yeah. sign up on the sheet, though. We're signed up right there. Huh. How are their names above ours when they came in after us? Oh, but you've signed up on flight number we're, three. We're on yeah. number three. I, I, to be honest with you, I don't even pay attention to what it says on there. I just see one, two, three, and I just put Jody and Corey. At this moment, I feel like, you know, I screwed us huge. The fact that we're getting to do this is amazing. Never would I thought I'd be going to one of the territories, let alone two, in the same, same day. The first plane is now flying from Yellowknife to Carcross, Yukon. Each flight will land 20 minutes apart. Once they land, teams will search the historic gold rush town of Carcross for the steam locomotive, the Duchess. There, they'll find their next clue. Arctic Sunwest Charters, AS. Is this where we're going? Yeah. And everybody's here. Oh, God, no, not everybody. Hopefully. Uh, we right here, right here. Oh, we're all on it anyways. We're on the third flight, and we know that puts us at a massive disadvantage. Ugh. I know. It just frustrates the hell out of me. Sign up where? Where's the sign up? Right here? OK, thanks. More in the third. OK. So discouraging. This is definitely a once in a lifetime experience. It's just white mountains as far as you can see. All ready? Let's start racing now. Let's go. All right. I think it's right around here. I think it's on the left. There, there's a train station. Let's go. Go as fast as you can go, Hop. The mistake was made by another group. We capitalized on their mistake. Uh, we think that we did the right thing to sign up with the next line. Hey, Hal, I know, uh, I know we made a mistake there, and you guys kind of benefited from it. Um, and we told you where to go to sign it up. Are you guys willing to have us go where we were supposed to go, or? Uh. Hey, Hal, I know we made a mistake there. Are you guys willing to have us go where we were supposed to go, or? 
Uh, I think, you know, it's, we, we thought about it, talked about it, and we, we think we're going to stick with it. It's part of the race, part of the race. That's you guys might have been running around here looking for the, for the sign-up sheet, though, right? That's all right. But anyhow, it would have been, been the next sure. one. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. We wanted to ask. Sure. Okay. Okay. There. If I had done that, I wouldn't have expected another team to correct my mistake. Right. Like, they want to take the spot, obviously. But of course they do. Don't feel good about it, but, but it's... It's part of the game. Looking for a train. Train tracks. The tracks are there. We're running along the side of the tracks. It's got to be right there. Yeah, there it is. You see the box hall? Right side. Go as fast as you can go, Hall. Here, come here, Hall. Detour. Yukon Supply Run or Klondike Gold Rush? A detour is a choice between two tasks. Today, teams will get a chance to experience one of two pioneer pastimes. It's their call, Klondike Gold Rush or Yukon Supply Run. In Supply Run, teams must first locate Lake Bennett. And in true pioneer spirit, construct a raft similar to the ones used to transport supplies to the Dawson City Goldfields. Once teams successfully navigate the moving river, they'll retrieve their next clue. In Klondike Gold Rush, teams must successfully complete three competitive pioneer activities. First, teams must cut through a 20-inch log using a traditional long saw. Next, teams will have to successfully lodge an axe anywhere on the target. Finally, one team member must push a wheelbarrow blindfolded through an obstacle course while the other team member collects five nuggets. Once they've completed all three Klondike-inspired activities, they'll receive their next clue. I like Gold Rush. It's a hard call, Hal. I think we should build. I really think we should do the other one. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. No, we're not a physical team, and our bias is to choose a mental challenge over a physical one every time. Let's go build. Okay, do you have any skills about how to build a raft? Tie it, we'll learn on the go. That there are some barrels there, there's some rope. I really think we should do the other one. I have no idea how to do this. Paul, Paul. You know how to tie knots that are gonna support our weight? I, I don't even know if I know how, but I will figure it out. Choose a log station. We picked this detour because we think we can hammer these three tasks out quickly. Start slow. Oh, God. This is what I do in the gym. I'm an active fitness model. So, sawing a log in half. No problem. This is my last workout for the day. We got this. Roll. Shoot me the other one. And we just basically started tying barrels together. We need to work a system so they don't come apart. So I'm tying the barrels end to end here. Why don't we just attach them this way? If we put this in the water, the centers will flip outward. Even with our weight on it? Yes, definitely with our weight on it. Okay, we okay. will end up in the just water. Just finish that yeah, side. Yeah. Okay, okay I, stop I yelling at me. Stop I yelling. Telling you. Keep it together. Yourself, I mean, okay? Good to roll. You. Yeah. Is it this way? We want to make sure, eh? That's where we are. This path, I think, goes all the way around the lake. Come on, baby. Show some love. This is absolutely... This is stunning. It's like, look at that view. Ah, uh, timber. OK. Uh, hatchet throwing. So we both have to get one in the target. Atta boy. Yeah! It's nice and easy. OK. Uh, throw it harder. <laughs> oh, my god. Wow. I'm worried we're about to lose our lead because I can't throw a hatchet. Ah, oh, God. You're getting worse. There it is. Go through oh, yeah, that. I see it. I see it. Yeah, baby. There we go. Speed bump. After arriving last in the previous leg, Tim and Tim must now complete a speed bump. In this speed bump, the Tims must locate these Yukon wall tents and search for the famous Robert Service poem, The Shooting of Dan McGrew. Once located, they'll have to memorize and successfully recite the first four verses of the poem to the man who wrote it. Robert Service is one of the Yukon's most famous residents, who wrote about life in the Yukon during the gold rush. If they manage to do the poem justice, Robert Service will give them their next clue. What's his name? Robert Service? Robert Service. Afternoon, gentlemen. Find the typewriter. OK, here we go. Typewriter's over here. What do we got? Oh, you're kidding me. OK, how much of it do we have to repeat? The whole thing? The whole thing, yeah. Okay, so you do the first, third, and fifth. Can you do that? Timothy wasn't looking forward to this because he doesn't like the whole memorization thing. Not a fan. Bunch of the boys were opening it up and called for beer on the house. Beer for the house. Yukon 
supply run or Klondike Gold Rush? Yeah, let's do the events. Okay. Okay. Joe, I think it's out there. So we get started, it'll be okay. Hey, so you want me to pull? Yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's do this. Hello, sir. We need to recite a poem for you. Good afternoon. <sighs> when out of the night, which was 50 below, and into the den and the glare, there stumbled a miner fresh from the creeks, dog dirty and loaded for bear. He looked like a man with one foot in the grave and the strength, but he tilted the poke. He tilted the poke of a... Sorry, boys, that's not the way I penned this poem. Please try again. Hmm. to Carcross. We are very nervous about being on this last flight. Oof. We might have to use the express pass. We don't want to, but I think this could be the right leg to do it. Smallest, Smallest plane, plane we've ever been on in our lives. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see what it does. OK, you ready to test it? You ready? Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's right there. Just prepare yourself emotionally for the fact that you may fall in completely. You're gonna hit this. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, to the barrels. I guess I, I blindfolded. Yeah, I guess I sit in it. The final event on this detour is a blindfolded wheelbarrow nugget grab to grab nuggets. Right? Okay, right? Yeah, we don't have a lot of experience driving wheelbarrows blindfolded. Right, 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 right turn, all the way right. Yep, straight. But we have experience grabbing nuggets. For sure, we grab a nug all the time. Nug here, nug there. OK, now move to your left. OK, we're out. OK, now turn, oh. sorry, straight back. Atta boy. I got a workhorse on my team. We got a ways to go here. OK, come on, we got this. Just relax. Yep. He looked like a man with a foot in, his gr in the grave, with scarcely the strength of a gnat. I'm sorry, boys. That's yeah. not the way I pen okay. this. OK, thanks. Okay. You've got to get your confidence here. Get your mind right. Dad. Come on, come on. I know. On. I'm doing it. Don't come say on. anything, please, OK? Got to get your confidence here. Get your mind right. He, he looked, looked like, like a, a man, man with a foot, foot in the, the grave just, and scarcely the strength of a louse. That doesn't help, okay? Just please let me do it. I have it all. It's just the gnat. I don't know why I said gnat. Okay. It's just louse instead of gnat. Let's do it. We're back. He looked like a man with a foot in the grave with scarcely the strength of a louse. Yet he tilted a poke of dust on the bar and called for drinks for the house. Though none could place the stranger's face, but we searched ourselves for a clue. But we drank his health, and the last to drink was the dangerous Dan McGrew. Congratulations, yes. gentlemen. Good job. Yes. I really got to run. <laughs> Let's go get our clue and get moving. Yukon Supply Run for Klondike Gold Rush. Gold Rush. I like it. Let's rock and roll, baby. Let's get through this. You. This has to be the unknown road. Road there, road up here. Just find the Duchess. Landing at Carcross, we're with two teams with express passes. We think we're, we're pretty well finished. Everyone's running, dude. We're gonna be left behind here. Keep your breathing going, buddy. A little left, go straight. Okay, now straight through. Okay, put it down. We're rocking this, bud. We're rock this first place today. Hip, hip. Right? One, two. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. OK, read the clue. Then you can move on to the hatchet station. Right, hatchet station's over here. OK. I think the hatch is going to be easy because it's a motion that I'm very familiar with, with playing baseball. I had the opportunity to play in the Canadian national team. Wait, yes. Know how. Yes. My technique is praying that it's going to hit. Oh. Okay, let's go. We got this, Dad. This is perfect for us. This is our day, baby, our day. 
Go. Take it. Oh, I got it. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna turn this around. All right, we're with the current. I want to finish this thing. <sighs> okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Straight back, straight back. Okay, put me down and hold it. Okay, straight, go straight. I'm straight, straight ahead. Now keep hugging. <laughs> okay, let's rip this mo. Uh, Pays to have a strong partner. Make your way to Car Cross Desert. Teams must now travel by ATV to find the Car Cross Desert. Known as the smallest of its kind in the world, 10,000 years ago, this was the bottom of a glacial lake. Nestled below snow-capped mountains, this unique desert is the fourth pit stop in a race across Canada. The last team to check in here may be eliminated. Make your way to Carcrest Desert. Whoa. Pop off. Let's unload this stuff. Here, stack it on mine, stack it on mine. Go, other one, next. So we just want to finish strong, hopefully take home a first. OK, let's start racing. Make your way to Carcass Desert. One hot, ready? Let's go, David. Go off. Woo! Go for it, Hall! And let's go. <laughs> yes! 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 Good job, Joe. Should we go in the wheelbarrows? You're in the wheelbarrow. Woo. Okay. Okay? Yep. Come on, Pop. Come on, put that energy into your arms. Yeah, there's a hatchet here. We need every second we can get at this point. Yeah, just like a camp. Yes, Timothy. It's all you now, Poppy. Let's do it, man. Oh, boy. Where is it? To your right a bit. OK, come on. OK. okay. Oh, where is it? Let's go to your right. OK, a little straight. And... Who picks it up? I think I do. Well, read the clue. I s Read the clue, Joe. OK, so we're, we're on the right track. Where do I go? Go straight. And Who gets oh, I got it. it, I got it. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I got, I got it. Now turn to your right. Or your other right. That's fine. There's a train. Detour, Yukon Supply Run. Or a Klondike Gold Rush. Mm -hmm. Build a quick raft. OK. Yeah. We're going to build a raft. And I hope it doesn't take that long. What do you think? We're using it. We got this express pass from Kristen and Darren, and it means that we can skip any challenge. We can be in second or third, Vanessa. Which means we won't get out. Let's do it. So my amputations are roughly mid-calf on both sides. The skin and bone in those areas aren't designed for weight bearing. So when I'm running, I'm putting a lot of force. Sorry, everybody, I'm feeding. The last thing I want to do is fail my brother. My legs are starting to weaken up on me. Give me that bag. OK, I think you can hack. You want it? I got no choice. Yeah, let's do it. He's in a class of his own here. If we can work together and to get it done, um, you know, that's what's going to win the race for us. Just find the Duchess. OK, I got it. Okay. And stop. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, so. Let's go. Come on. Sorry, sorry. Make your way to, to the across. Desert. Yes. yes! Body break just finished. Yeah. So the judge, we have an express pass and we'd like to use it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Make your Thank way you. to Care Cross, cross desert. desert. Once there, search for John at your next pit stop. Let's go. There she is, buddy. There she is. We're almost there. Ready? Yukon Supply Run or Klondike Gold Rush. Klondike Gold Rush. OK, Tim and Tim are just right there. Nice and easy. Yes! Okay. Come on. I don't think we have a second to waste, so. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. Come on, baby. Fair right, fair right. Yeah. Yeah, Dad, we're getting this, man. We're getting this. I hope those games take a long time. Me too. OK. Back straight up. OK. Come on. Quick knots. We have an express pass in our bag, but we don't want to use it because we have a background in paddling. Darren's a raft guide and I'm a kayak guide. We're pioneers. This is awesome. This beat's working. Go, Hall, go. I'm sure Hall is not even having fun. I'm 
I'm sure she's just terrified. We're not moving quickly. It's gotta be right there. See it? Yeah, this makes me feel uneasy. Welcome to the Yukon, the land of the midnight sun. Thank, Thank you. you. Love the Yukon. Jet and Dave, your team number one. We did it. We earned this. We earned this. You have won an all-inclusive trip for two to Cancun, Mexico from our friends at Air Canada Vacations. That's pretty great, no less, I bet. Look out, ladies. Congratulations today, boys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, buddy. Cool. There, come on. Not eliminated. Happy to see you, brother. Ollie and Brett, your team number two. <sighs> happy with that? Yeah, happy very that. happy. Very happy. Oh, here they are, here they are, right over here. <gasps> yes. <sighs> Alan Joanne, your team number three. Yeah! All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's number five. Hang on, Poppy. Okay, make your way to Car Cross Desert. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so the girls use their uh, express pass. Okay, yeah, let's go, Dad. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this, Vanessa. We gotta hustle. There might be another group right in back of us. Let's go. We got this, Dad. Woo! Vanessa, come on. We can catch up. Oh, oh, oh. Lordy. Oh, I'm so hot. Come on. Where is it? Let's go. Let's finish it strong, Poppy. Oh, they're coming. Oh, come in, Tim. Okay, okay. Please, hurry, 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 hurry. They can still catch us. You see it? You see them? Yeah, let's drop our bags. Let's go. Careful. Oh, my God, really? <laughs> hey. Vanessa and Selena, you are the fourth team to arrive. <laughs> are you good? Good. good. However, I cannot check you in just yet, as I need to be able to see your bags to do so, and you'll have to retrieve them before we can check you in. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There they are. Come on, Dad. Come on, Matt, give it your last push. Be sick. Right. We're right behind her, man. We're right behind her. Oh my god, they're coming. Vanessa, go. Vanessa, we're done. What a waste of our freaking express. <sighs> We're right behind her, man. We're right behind her. Oh my god, they're coming. Vanessa, go. Drop the bags. Drop them. Come, come, come. Vanessa and Selena, you are now team number four. Yes. Tim and Tim? Yes. You gentlemen are team number five. Girls, you didn't have to do the challenge, but you ended up having to work hard to get four. We had to use our express pass to try to bump our standing. Tim and Tim. What's up, sir? Come on. You guys are moving up in the world. Yes. Good job today. Yeah. Hugs all around. Okay. This looks decent. As long as it doesn't all float apart on us, right? Right. We know we're taking a risk, but we're good at tying knots, using ropes. Do a trucker's hitch over here. Okay. Let's not play with knots. Let's just make it happen. If this works right now, we might actually be making some good time. Well, here's hoping it does. <sighs> All right, we gotta load it up. Yeah. Then you move on to the hatch. Hey! Take your time. Thinking, hey, you know, I was a sniper, right? How hard could it be to throw a hatchet? Oh, oh my god. <sighs> oh. At least I know I hit the target. We see Darren and Kristen. I see them paddling towards their clue. Quick, keep paddling. And I'm like, dude, let's go. There it is. Oh. Nice, go. Wheelbarrow. Straight. Give me an idea where I'm. Straight. How far it is, dude. Okay, turn left. Okay. Okay, let's go back quickly. Go back straight. You're good. Keep going straight, buddy. And I got it. We used our express pass. We should have. Can we now? No. Ah. And I got it. I look over and I'm like, 
Is that Darren and Christian? <laughs> Still doing their challenge? Oh, that frickin' wind. 10 more feet. Make your way to the Car Cross Desert. Once there, search for John at your next pick stop. Warning the last team to check in, maybe eliminated. Keep paddling. Oh. Looks like your team's still paddling. Let's go, buddy. Jody, we need to go now. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep up with you, buddy. Make your way to Car Cross Desert. Corvettes, buddy, Corvettes! Dude, they're right there. Let's go. No way. Let's go, buddy. For more information on the places seen on this leg of the race, head to ctv.ca forward slash The Amazing Race Canada. This is the car across desert right here, buddy. Over here, it looks like there's a path. They're right there, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Up over there. Oh, eh? oh, way over there. Jody. What I was worried about was a foot race at the end. Okay, Cora, just wait. Wait for me, okay? Oh, that hell? Yeah. They know we're coming. Wait up, buddy. Wait up. I can't run anymore right now, buddy. I just gotta walk, okay? If we get eliminated because I can't keep up, I'd have to spend a long time making it up to my brother. Let's go. I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. Oh, we're here, Darren. Uh, but our motto is, is never quit. Yeah, that's just over the hill, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. And it's the motto I've been using since I was wounded. Come on, let's go. How proud am I of my brother? The amount of running my brother did today is the reason why we're still in it. Jody and Corey. Yes. Your team number six. Yes. Oh my god, buddy. Yeah. Oh. You are still in this race by the skin of your teeth. Oh man. Thought we were goners. Congratulations today, boys. Here we are. Thank goodness, because my legs are getting pretty tired. Number six feels pretty good today. Pleased to be here. Welcome to the Yukon, the land of the Midnight Sun. Thank you. Kristen and Darren, you're the last team to arrive. <sighs> I'm sorry to tell you, but you've been eliminated from the race. Okay. You're finishing this race with an express pass? Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of sucks to have the express pass and then bomb it. Yeah. It's so much fun to challenge your relationship on a different level than day-to-day -day life and even more amazing to come out of it and still love each other. Seeing Canada from this vantage point is kind of a teaser. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just stay here. It's awesome here. Let's just find some hippies with a camper van. Yeah. Next time on The Amazing Race Canada, teams head to Regina, Saskatchewan. Go, go. Get on this one, Vanessa. Let's go where they get buried by lentils. I, I can't dig in this pit uh -huh. anymore. Ready for my inspection, sir! Drilled by the RCMP. In the amount of police, we don't cry. And the first double U-turn of the race. That's your turn, that's your turn, come on. Sends teams into a panic. Get hurry, get hurry, get hurry! Come back and drag me! 